Hey, it's Joseph here. Over the years, I've struggled with the amount of storage that I have on my machines as file size increase, project size increase, and the complexity of those files increase, and the organization just kind of becomes nightmare. And if you want to sort all of those things out, having a fast but large storage on your hands is quite crucial. And that is pretty much how this video kind of prompted. So on this video, we are looking at one, two, three different products from Sabrent. And while Sabrent has sent me these products to unbox and test out, they're not sponsoring this video. So all of what I'm about to say is based on my testing experience and what I see. With that out of the way, let's open up the main one. Sabrent Rocket 4 Plus Advanced Performance M.2 PCIe Gen 4 NVMe SSD and it is 2 terabytes, which is fairly a lot for solid state drive alone. So I am quite excited about this one. Let's undo the wrapping. So in this tiny little package, you can expect tinier solid state drive, which is about gum stick size and it is within a nice case it is kind of rose gold type of case here metal it says unlock the speed two terabytes and all it is is this tiny little card or gum stick that we are after today and it is going to offer you quite amazing speed as well as the amount of storage that you can have. So let's set that aside and then open up this enclosure, USB type C tool free enclosure for M.2 PCIe NVMe and SATA SSD. So you can use SATA SSD as well as NVMe. I know some enclosures don't do that. You can basically have an enclosure that connects via USB and put this stick into there and tool free so I'm gonna try and attempt this without any tools here's nice metal quality stuff I can see and then one end is USB-C yeah there's nothing too special about it other than a couple of readings to do if you are up for it here is a very short USB-C to USB-C cable in my case, I'll be testing on a laptop. Therefore, I can use the USB-C connection for maximum amount of speed. So let's go ahead and open this first. So just press that button, I guess. It just hinges open. And all you need to do is grab that gum stick and then line it up to the right spot. So 20 degrees no need to be precise and push it in and then lower it and then now you just gotta use this rubber to lock it in place there it is it's secured and then perhaps fold to close and then it locks and because this is solid state you don't need to worry about bumping it it is going to be fine and then connect to USB-C and then connect to your machine Okay, and then grab my laptop and as a comparison, I'm going to test it against my spinny 2.5 inch hard drive from Toshiba and then also use Sabrent's external hard drive connection here. So all you need to do is just like that and then connect to your machine and this is USB type A. So I need a dongle and then connect to your Thunderbolt port. And you can hear the hard drive spinning and at this point in time you don't want to touch it because it can destroy your hard drive that's how sensitive they are and let me just go ahead and run this mark and once i have done that i can now have it compared to my much faster setup which is this one and just connect to the same exact port and once that is done, you can see that this specific disk, about 1863 gigabytes has been unallocated. So you just need to start right click in new simple volume. And then from here, you can just next to it. And then this one, I'm going to say Sabrent 2 terabyte next. 
finish. But I also wanted to show you the other enclosure that is supposedly a lot faster and open this once again and then just pull the tab and it just pops right back out like that and then just pull the gum stick. I'm going to put it right back where it belongs and then open up the different package. So here is Thunderbolt 3 to M.2 NVMe SSD tool free enclosure. So this is supposedly slightly bigger, but it is Thunderbolt connection. Therefore, it is going to be a lot faster than other enclosure. Look at the packaging, similar stuff, just a short USB C Thunderbolt cable and then an enclosure. This is a lot heftier in terms of weight all metal construction on the back there is a little lever so i wonder if this is how you open it you just twist somehow yep you twist and the whole thing opens wow everything is milled very precisely i like that it speaks quality so open up this cable and then the casing of the cable basically fits into this little slot that's been cut out for more secure connection. And also there's rubber feet at the bottom of it. So when you're putting it down on the table, it's not going to slide across. It's not metal against your precious tabletop. And then just pull this tab and then undo. And then now you just got to put that gum stick. MVME M.2. 20 degrees, snap that in place, lock it. And that's it. And then make sure everything lines up and then lock it in place again. And then use the short Thunderbolt cable onto your computer. So I'll run the benchmark and see how fast that is in comparison. And these are the three different results. The first one is going to be the result of my old hard drive spinny disk, supposedly the slowest. And the next up is the one through USB-C connection, USB 3.0 rather than Thunderbolt, which is this one right here. And then the lastly, it is the best performer Thunderbolt connection. So since this is the fastest, I'm gonna keep the drive in here. However, I'm going to to upgrade my desktop to have this drive as my main drive since this has a lot more capacity and the speed that I can enjoy. So once I do that, I'm gonna produce a video showcasing how I have upgraded my current machine to the upgraded state. So look out for that one. I really like their product because they speak quality as well as consistency in their lineup of devices. And I have been using them for a long time ago. So I'll leave a link in the description for all of these parts. If you have if you have liked this video, please like and subscribe to my channel to continue watching these type of contents. Thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you next time. Bye.